who will be fought over three full rounds and he is for the Barcelona light heavyweight British title. Calling in to face first, from the red corner, Judah. They've been there before, they're almost mates, but uh, I promise they'll be swinging at each other. The... Again, this is for the Guy Labus, the beast, the power. Team Kaibon, big fan support, always fans' favourites. Both fans of Venom. This could be over quick, let's go see. Will it be similar to the previous fight or little adaptions been made? Both guys look a little bit more reserved. What well, they fought the first time, but they were swinging at each other very quickly now. Oh, Mark has got some power in that big overhand right. Haven't fought before, they must have some respect for each other, and therefore just testing each other out for the first bit. And now... And Mark, Mark landed heavy, but Guyla just shot in straight away and closed the distance. Generally, you associate Team K on guys with the kind of stand-up game, Muay Thai. So uh, look for Mark to have a good clinch and then try and separate, which is exactly what he does. Both guys very game and throwing everything into these punches. <laughs> that might be the worst spinning back miss you're ever going to see in this cage. Badly timed. This is the problem. These big guys, you can see, sometimes they set a really fast pace and then uh, they kind of wane a little bit. Oh, oh spinning back kick is a little bit low. Spinning back kick to the balls, little known technique. Ancient Chinese technique. Garlic decides to continue to fight. <laughs> the ref having time to fight. Ref Both guys very frustrated. confused. I think maybe there's a slight language barrier, maybe. Oh, both guys swinging leather. All it takes is for one of these right hands to come through and hit on the chin and it's all over. Mark is throwing a lot of spinning techniques. It's constantly spinning back kicks, spinning back fist. Maybe it's something he's been drilling between now and the last fight. Oh, that jab landed right on the chin of Guy Lovers. What a hook. Great combinations. Both thrown leather, but both still seem very relaxed. You see Matt Hudson looking down on his chest of the opponent, just seizing up, waiting for to throw that right hand or that spinning back kick. Oh, great. Body shot, then left hook, mixing up levels. Oh, but then Mark takes a big heavy shot to the head. Kyler with some lovely kicks. Both fighters improved so much since their first matchup. We're seeing a lot more variety in techniques, 
A lot more technique, not just swinging. Really good guards. Both guys been training hard. They're both stinging like bees. I think at this weight, you're not really flowing like butterflies. We might be stinging like a bee. Kind of, uh... Oh, lovely leg kick from Gaila. I think he had Mark Hurt with that. That was a very nice leg kick. Oh, he's doing it again. He sensed the weakness. And Gaila's got to go again, hit the leg again, hit the leg again. Oh, but Mark is... This is what everyone wanted from this fight. No, Two nice. of the best ballerina light heavyweights just landing heavy shots on each other. Who's got the better chin? Oh, that wobbles. Well, Gaila. Oh, Gaila's looking a little bit sketchy on his feet, but then Mark is wobbly on that front foot after getting leg kicked. Oh, excellent movement, excellent movement. Great circling by Mark. This is a nail biter. Gaia is pressing forward, but then he's got to be so careful. Mark's little counter shots are really good. Oh, great catching the kick. But didn't manage to finish the takedown. That's interesting. Nice stamping down of his leg there by Mark oh. Hodgson. Gaia grabbed his arm, maybe tweaked his elbow a little bit, throwing that heavy shot. I want, I want to oh. see Gaia throw more of those leg kicks. That was great footwear there from Mark. It's the first time we've seen that. He's like a little Muay Thai skip to one side, skip to the other, and then big overhand right. Oh, wow, these guys. What a contest. That ran as the first round to a finish. That has been an absolutely nail bite of a fight. This is Ballerina 40. This is brought to you by VikingWarriorNutrition.co.uk. If you'd like to find post analysis of this awesome card, then listen to the Slaphead and Giraffe podcast where you'll hear all about it. This is why Ballerina is becoming recognized as the UK's top amateur promotion. Fights like this, fights where both guys are giving it their all, both guys are throwing, both guys are landing. It's a, it's a kind of a question of who's got the best skill, but who's the toughest? Are you loving this, Mai? I'm yeah, loving this. I am absolutely loving this. And this is the first of three title fights this evening. And this is for the British light heavyweight title. And I'd love to see more of what they're doing right now because it's absolutely nail biting. I think what we need to see is Mark using that footwork a lot more. Because when he's actually focusing on the footwork, moving side to side, making angles, he's landing and not getting counted. But a lot of time he's being brought into the brawl, which is what team Gaila wants that kind of street fight brawl and just a march forward and meet in the middle and throw bombs. Some lovely footwork from Mark Hodgson indeed. Especially a light heavyweight. It's, it's beautiful to see. Another nice leg kick. This is going to slow oh. Mark Hodgson down. I'm impressed by the Carliers, these guys. They are big guys. This is round two, and they're still moving just as fast as they were in round one. And they're switching these stances by Mark, Mark Hodgson. Keeps the guy like guessing. <laughs> Boom, another leg kick. Th those are going to pay oh, off. Oh, a big right. Rounds. This is what Mark needs to do. He means where that angle gets to the right Ooh. side of Guy, uh, work to his right, Guyler's left side, and land that big right foot. Oh, both land at the same time. This is what everyone wanted from this fight. Oh, no one wants to see these big guys lay on top of each other. We want to see them hit each other in the face. They're both giving us what, yes. what we expected. Much better. Land those shots. Oh, oh. what a leg kick. I'd love to see a finish by leg kicks, a TKO by leg kicks, that would very cement your... <laughs> Gaila might do it, he's, he's landing some serious leg kicks, some serious power shots. Marg's come back though, he's pressing the action, he's working Gaila up against the cage. Now the first fight was Mark pushing Gaila against the cage oh. and landing four or five and oh, oh huge shots by Gaila. Gaila needs to back off, he keeps throwing those right hands. Gaila needs to pick his shots but Mark is far from out of it. Great work by Mark Closer. Just <laughs> he pulls guard on Mark Hodgson. Kyler lands five or six unanswered punches and then pulls guard. A bizarre turn in this fight. I think if Guy ends up losing this fight, he's going to regret that decision. That was a, possibly a big tactical error. Although maybe Guy is a beast in, in the jiu-jitsu ranks. We don't know. I'd love to see Guy now using the cage to get back up. It seemed to be a crazy decision, that guard pull. That was a full-on guard pull. We were talking earlier in this show about how 
You know, it's very unusual to see people who will pull guard, and only if they're super high-level grapplers do they generally do it. And I'm surprised Gaida chose you there once he was hurting Mark. Even then, it's still dangerous, especially as they're getting hit by big guys on top of them. Gaida landed five heavy shots unanswered, and then pull guard where Mark can hit him. And now Mark is trying to just control the position. He's driving uh, Gaida's head into the fence. I'm shocked. That was a big tactical error from Gaida. It, it may have cost him the fight. Depending how this goes. I'm hoping this doesn't wear uh, Gaila down too much for the next round. <laughs> Some nice big punch being landed by Mark Hodgson. Such a shame that only one of these guys gets the gold belt because they both deserve it. Monsters. Will the referee stand it up? I mean, it's fairly inactive. No one's really landing. Gaila's doing some fairly atrocious ground and pound from the bottom. Then it's not very effective. And the, the ground and pound coming from on top, it's, it's landing, but it doesn't seem to face Gaila. I see the referee standing up any second now. Marty, why did he pull guard? Tell me, Marty. Uh, I, I don't understand, Chris. It seems like a terrible decision. I think he's going to really regret that. I think he might have. He thought he might have had a head and arm and just tried to pull guard on it. Okay, maybe, maybe he was going for a flying submission. I like your optimism, Roy. I like it. I'd like to see this fight stood up now, though, because it's Mark Hodgson controlling on top, but rather nothing much occurring. very active crowd for both fighters. The Mark Hodgson supporters are always here in force, always. Very good to see you always support your local fighters. I'm still so confused by Gaida. He landed five big, big headshots. Right, I thought Ga he had Mark beat and pull guard. Gaida Ga Ga and Mark seem a bit tired now. And now this is where we're going to see both just guys. how tired they are. Mark looks like he's really struggling, leaning against that post, as is Gaila. It's going to be interesting. This is the problem with the heavyweight. Sometimes it's so exciting, the pace, and then you get to round three, and, and both guys are spent. It's always, I've always fought at this, uh, well, a, a few times i fought at this weight, and I tend to, because I'm tall, I tend to be a leaner than a lot of these guys, and what I'll try and do is be pace myself so at the very least I can get to these later rounds where the big guys tend to just tire out and all that mass becomes an inconvenience and then I can be active and uh, outwork them. Who do you think looks fresher? They both, they're both breathing. Kyler doesn't look too bad. Mm, Mark is still leaning on that post. Both look a bit tired but not too, dis not too destroyed from the pre previous two rounds. I'm excited for this third round. Will we get the knockout the crowd is hoping for? Both guys are capable. Yeah. Guyana with that leg kick straight away. I think that's why Mark's starting to switch stances because those leg kicks are taking a toll. Yeah, he's going to have a seriously sore leg tomorrow. Every time he steps, he'll be cursing the name Guyana of us. Oh, Superman punch. Gaida seems to be waiting for the, uh, for the timing to be correct to land that big right hand again. This is going to be a... Uh, oh, oh, great. That shot landed, but it landed on the forehead. And sometimes what you see is that you really need to hit the chin, not the forehead. You hit the forehead, it doesn't do him much damage. He needs to throw that right hand afterwards, though, because he landed the jab. If he just learns that right hand straight afterwards, it cause more of an effect. He just keeps throwing the leg kicks as well. And for Mark, just keep, just keep moving around and keep throwing punches. And a oh. nice body shot. Mark Hodgson is mixing levels. Mark is throwing a Superman, he's mixed levels, but then Gaila just throws out a heavy jab and lands square in Mark's head. Difficult to score this. I mean, Mark looks more technical, but Gaila's landing and he's landing shots like that. It's a bit of a glancing blow, but... Oh, boom. He's Mark answers the zone. It's landed again. It's just glancing off. Both of these warriors. Oh, great shot. That body shot and then hooking that right hook to the body, left hook to the head is working really well for Mark. He just moved out of the way that right hand. Mark used a little bit of head work. 
as he's throwing those punches. Mark is a, is a, is a powerful dude. He's got lovely combinations, good footwork. Guyler is just, this is the unstoppable, what's the unstoppable force makes an immovable object, these two. It's just two absolute monsters fighting against each other, pushing I, each other. I love the fact Mark is just throwing the same combination now, just hook body, hook head, hook body, hook head. And it's working. Yeah, yeah, Guyler is uh, he's not wising up to it. Both of these guys, they're mixing up levels, combinations. They look, both look great in this fight. Another body shot landed. They're going to wear Gaila down. They're both fighters seem to be very tired. Oh, Gaila landed a big jab then. And it's these rounds. Oh, both guys are just landing. Oh. Oh, and who wants nice it more? Kick. Who wants that gold belt? Come on, guys. Both fighters digging really deep. There's a mutual respect between both fighters. And you hear the crowd chanting. <laughs> they're just, they're even chatting to each other now, saying, come on. Mutual respect between both fighters. what happens. The only guys that have been through this, the only other person that's been through what you've been through is your opponent. It was the last warning <coughs> given there to give him push kicks. He's stamping upon the knee. Yeah, it's a, it's a sketchy move. Another nice jab, la uh, jab landed. It's going to be interesting. Tyler. What happens in these last 10 seconds? Do they swing? No, mm. there's another round, Chris. I oh, think yeah. they're trying to preserve him. <laughs> themselves. Is that two rounds? That was three. I thought there was four rounds in a title fight, or five. There's another round to go. No way. <laughs> I'm so excited. Me too, Chris. With another round coming, wow. just calls for more action. It's going to be some serious cardio issues. Oh, no. The it's been three no. rounds. Marty, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I was wrong. <laughs> However, cardio is a big issue. When I think they were both so ways. spent they didn't have anything left. It's going to be both guys seriously wanted it. I wouldn't even like to make a, a guess of who the judges have picked. Two absolute warriors. Mark got that takedown in the second round, but Guy, he only, Guy landed a few unanswered shots in that round. How do you score it? Belt being presented by David Kelso, the light heavyweight world champion, or lightweight world champion. We go to the judges scorecard, and we have a split decision for your winner and new Batarina light heavyweight British title holder from the blue corner. Controversial decision. Some of the crowd are not happy. Wow, that was a that was um, the crowd here is not happy about the decision, but.